And this week on Life on Jupiter. We have completed our list of boat jobs and are ready to splash. We're excited to begin the Great American Loop with a starting point of Norfolk, Virginia. So hot. I thought America is cold, but yeah, summer is still hot. <laughs> yeah, so we're pretty much done on our boat jobs and the antifil painting. First coat is finished. And today we're gonna go shopping, go to hardware and supermarket to get some food. We're running out of food and yeah, we got a courtesy car from the marina, Cape, Cape Charles Yacht Club and we're going to use that and we'll show you around. This looks like a fort. So we're finished in the boatyard. Almost. Well, we're going to splash tomorrow morning. So as you can see, we are already in the travel lift. What did we do? Uh, and so? Yeah. Dingy paint? Yeah. Um, changing, cleaning the fuel tank? Yeah. Prop shafts, uh, as in like um, <laughs> dripless seals and the uh, cutlass bearings. That's Frame. not, yeah, and just a few other things, little bits and pieces. You want to go mm -hmm. get the washer? Raining. Yeah, the tropical storm come through last night. Elsa, I think it's called. Uh, yeah, 35 knots maybe and a um, bit of rain, lots of pine needles on the deck. You got a basket, B? 
Remember when we hold out, the travel lift doors put dents in the side of Jupiter? Well, the boys were obligated to repair this, and while they were at it, I asked them to repair a few holes that were made by other means. The seals are so cute, aren't they, when they throw their meat around like that? Unless they throw it at your boat. The bones have made dents in Jupiter, in three different places. Since the boys were repairing a hole on the other side of the boat, I asked them if they could do these ones as well. However, launch day was here and they were not yet finished. But the show must go on. Must not forget a quick inspection of the job site just to make sure that you don't leave any tools behind and sail away. Always a stress. Got about a 15 knot crosswind too, so hopefully we get out without scratching anything. That she looks good, I reckon. Old Jupy's looking good. And once again, we had the challenge of trying to squeeze Jupiter into the travel lift bay. But the boys did a good job. So the wind is going to blow us that way. So you stand on that side as we go in. I think we're good. Doesn't need bleeding. That worked while we did the other day. It's too windy today. Well, got away with it. Mm. No scratches, is it? What was going on over there? Yes, Look sir. close. Almost. <laughs> I still don't have a plan of what we're going to do. We can't go where we want to go because of this strong wind. So. Let's go to Norfolk. It's 25 mile, but we can sail there. It'll be there in about four hours. brunch <laughs> first brunch at sea for a while yeah. finally good to be back on the water we're just 
making a little slow passage under Hetzel only across to Norfolk where we're going to catch up with some friends for the night. So, busy week I guess, um, getting everything done, polishing, still haven't finished, I mean finished the top sides. <clears throat> The polish just makes such a mess when it scatters everywhere. <laughs> so the hulls are clean, the top sides, but the uh, everything on deck sort of covered in splatter. So we're still going to have a bit of a clean up. The anti fell went nicely. Um, it's the most money I've ever spent on anti fell. Thousand bucks for four four cans. We'll see, hopefully this works. Hopefully. Probably the most expensive haul out ever. Yeah. You know, it was, well, 1500 bucks for the yard. Um, anyway, at least we're back in the water quickly. They were nice guys. Mm. And it was a nice spot. Mm. Cool little town. are in Norfolk, Virginia, still in the Chesapeake. Uh, but yeah, yesterday we splashed, went into the water after, I think it was 10 days out of the water. Yeah. And it was a pretty good haul out, I guess. Um, as we mentioned, can't do everything DIY. Uh, we had to pay them for painting the bottom, preparing and scrubbing the bottom and then painting the bottom. Mm -hmm. I'd already bought the anti fowl, but they were happy with that. That's yeah. fine. So, and it was sort of good because I didn't want to be handling the poisons, you know. I mean, it's good to have someone else, but <laughs> cost a lot of money. Yeah. But we were just talking to some friends over here, and they say in a different yard, which is DIY, they did everything themselves. Cost a lot more for haul out. Plus, yep. they paid a daily charge. So, in the end, it all comes out the same money. Yeah. <laughs> and we didn't get tired. And we didn't deal yeah. with the poison. So, yep. I think it's a pretty good deal. Mm -hmm. um, but mind you, this Sandy Fowl, the uh, Seahawk product, is. A good one. I hope so. It's cost <laughs> me. A thousand bucks. Over a th thousand bucks in paint. And that's three times more than I've ever paid before for Sandy Fowl. Um, so fingers crossed <laughs> that it actually does something. <laughs> yeah. There's a few dings and repairs. Uh, yeah. Well, the yard actually did one of them. Um, on the travel lift, the door of the engine compartment opened and bang and dented. Not dent, but just put notches in the bog. Yeah. So it was easy to fix. So what? I said, oh, <laughs> while you're doing that, can you do a couple of other dings on the other side? They didn't do a good job of that. Mm. It was a mess. Uh, yeah. It looks not. not it looks the really same as it did before they <laughs> repaired it. <laughs> Just a different colour. Anyway, that's all right. They didn't charge us for that, so that was nice. Yeah. Um, so the, mm. the, the guys were good there at Cape Charles. Yeah. Uh, and, and fair. So it's good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Today we're going to go see the USS Wisconsin, a Check battleship, out. right there. <laughs> And then tomorrow we head up to Deltaville, pick up our parcels. Mm -hmm. and, and pretty quickly up to Annapolis for a day or two. Maybe a bus ride out to Washington, do the tourist thing. Mm -hmm. So yeah, it's been a good week. Productive, that's for sure.